Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through the next question. Okay, so this question belongs to GATE CSC 2004. The given question is the relational schema student performance which is having the name, course, roll number and grade. Okay, so there are four parameters. For easy understanding, let us convert them into ABCD format guys. Has the following functional dependencies. Name, comma, course. So name is A and course number is B implies D. Roll number is a C, course number is a B, implies a D, name is a, a, roll number is a C, name, sorry, roll number is a C, name is a, a. So these are the functional dependencies which are given in the question, right? Yes. So now they are asking uh, what is the highest normal form that this particular schema will work, right? Yes. So let us start. So first of all, when you are trying to find this normal form, sir, first to find what are the candidate keys, guys. Okay. So here we are having A, B, C, D. On the right hand side, we are having A, C and D. So A, C and D. So the only left out person is a B. So only by using B can we find the closure, guys. Sir? Like can we get it as a candidate key? The answer is no. Because if I use B, I am going to get only B. So now let us start writing the combinations. A, B, uh, B, C, uh, B, D. Okay. So using AB, so from AB I can get to AB, from AB I can find D, from D I can I find C, yeah from A I can find C. So AB is a candidate key, moving on to BC, okay. So when I use BC, from BC I can find A, from AB I can find D. So a, BC is also a candidate key, moving on to BD, from B, D I can find, okay I cannot find anything. So at the end of the day, AB and BC are the candidate keys, right? Yes. Okay. So now if you start checking the uh, dependencies, so they clearly give the dependencies, right? Yes. So let us start. Okay. So AB is a candidate key and BC is a candidate key, right? Yes. Okay. So once these two are candidate keys, we can clearly say that the first dependency is BCNF, the second dependency is in BCNF. Okay. So now the, but the third and fourth dependencies are not in BCNF. So we can conclude that this does not belong to BCNF. So option C is wrong. Okay. Moving on, if you observe carefully, when it comes to the first two, they are satisfying. But when it comes to these two people, so these two are uh, prime to prime right so a is a prime attribute and c is a prime attribute so it is a prime to prime attribute so with that understanding we can conclude that this is in 3nf got, got it yes so this is a quite easy question the question is directly based on the normalization right yes okay so now i hope everyone got a clear idea with respect to this question so in the next lecture let us continue with the next question guys okay yes so let us meet in the next lecture thank you thanks for watching like, share and subscribe for more awesome videos like this. Thank you.